Um, let's see, Laura, could you could you do the roll? Sure. Councillor Mayori. Here. Councillor Elkins. Here. Councillor Labarge. Here. And Councillor Moulton. Here. Okay. Forum. Excellent. All right. Let's uh, let's see. The next item is the election of chair. And so we will be looking for nominations. Uh, oh, uh, Councillor Labarge? Yeah, I just want to announce that I don't want my name brought up for chair or either vice chair. Okay. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. You've been serving how you've been serving on the finance committee for many years by now, right, Councillor Labarge? That has nothing to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I've heard. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So any other nominations? Um, I will okay. Yes, yeah. Councillor Labarge. I, I would like to nominate Stan Moulton as chair. Okay. Um uh Councillor Moulton. I, I don't know if we ask people if they accept the chair or we go through the... I don't know. Yeah. Do you accept? You don't ask them, but sometimes they say. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I, I, my feeling is that we need to divide responsibilities for chairing the committees uh, among counselors who are willing to step up and take on those leadership roles. And last, a week ago, I was elected chair of city services. Uh, so I would prefer not to chair two committees. Well, I uh, I will nominate myself as chair if there's no, if uh, and then we can see where we're at. If you're not, uh, Interested, Council Moulton. Okay. Well, well, I, I'm. It's not that I'm not interested. I just, I just I feel you. that it's in the best interest of our structure to to not be chairing two committees. I appreciate that. I, I agree with you. I mean, I I think that you would be excellent chair as well. But I I hear you. I think that two chairs is a lot. Um, and also just the um, you know, dividing of responsibilities across the council. I think is a good um. Uh, President Nash was really good at that, and I think it helps onboard folks. So I think it's a good practice. Okay. Um, I, I okay. So why don't we? So um, why don't we vote on chair if there's no other nominations? Um, Councilor Mayori. Or do yeah? I, oh. I could. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I could have made a speech too, but. Well, anyway, it seems like, um, all right, why don't we just, um, I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll just take a minute to say that I um, I think we have an excellent um, committee here and I, um, I, I'm i very excited to have this, uh, have the experience of, of everyone on this um, committee because of the, you know, we, we don't know what the future brings with this year and the, you know, in the budget. And I think we're gonna need um, a really collaborative approach. Um, and I hope that we all will play a dynamic part on deciding how we uh, move forward on, on finance committee and how we, you know, I wanna build rapport in the community. And I, I wanna take, um, you know, ideally, I think the finance committee also plays a part in taking some of the, uh, um, some of the heat off the, the mayor's office in the sense that we really, we can help um, answer questions to the public and, and, you know, we can engage the public, um, but also we need to be, you know, kind of mindful of the department heads um, and their time. And I think we'd had an excellent budget season last year. So I'm, I think that we have a, a great committee moving forward. Thank you. <laughs> so you can continue, sorry. Okay, sure. Um, Councillor Mayori. Uh, Councilor Mayori. Councilor Elkins. Councilor Mayori. Councilor Labarge. Councilor Mayori. And Councilor Moulton. Councilor Mayori. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, 
let's move on to um, election of vice chair. Do we have, um, I would nominate uh, Councillor Moulton, again, if we'd have to see if he's interested. I will take on the responsibility of uh, vice chair of finance. Uh, I too see this as a, uh, a critical and challenging budget year. And uh, this committee has a lot of work to do to build bridges within the community. And uh, I believe that uh, we've got a lot of experience on this committee. Uh, and I too look forward to working uh, with all of you. Uh, we're not always gonna come to the same conclusion, but I do think that it's important for us to work as a team and making sure that all voices are, are heard. And that as Councilor Mayori said, that we also respect the, uh, the time and uh, the work of our department heads and uh, I uh, feel I can work uh, I, uh, well with uh, with Councilor Mayori. Uh, I I would just like to add that um, I I was I was really um, grateful for your um, leadership with getting the budget listening sessions um, set in our last term. That was really Councilor Moulton's push. We had, it's something we had talked about in other terms, but Councilor Moulton made sure it happened. And I think it's been a, a really uh, a big plus. It's not always easy to do new things in municipal governance. And I appreciate that from you, Councilor Moulton. So thank you. Any other nominations for vice chair or comments, I guess? Okay, um, Laura, you could take the roll call. Thank you. Okay, starting with the next person in line, Councillor Elkins. Councillor Moulton. Councillor Labarge. Councillor Moulton. Councillor Moulton. Councillor Moulton. And Councillor Mayori. Councillor Moulton. Wow, this is gonna be like the speed of this meeting already. Okay. <laughs> I don't see, let me just see uh, if there's any, know that there's any public comment. No, I don't see any. Okay. So we can move on from public comment uh, to the approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. I looked at them, uh, someone who was part of it, I, um, they, they, you know, I would look for a motion there. Uh, I move approval of the, uh, this is the September 6th Joint Finance Committee meeting with, I believe it was Community Resources. And uh, I too looked at those and th those look good. Uh, and I, th I think we should take that separately from the, the budget listening sessions. Okay. Uh, Councillor Labarge. Yes, and I also um, approve Make a motion to approve the November 28th and 29th budget listening session, which I did read those. Okay. So the motion is for approval of um, November 28th and November 29th, 2023 Finance Committee um, minutes. Well, we well, have to deal well, with the we have to deal, we have to oh, deal with sorry. September 6th, which right. uh, I, I moved approval of that first. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were wanting to to take that out, I see. Okay, so let's vote on approval. Oh, yeah, Laura, would you say? Oh, <laughs> I I see how you understood it, interpreted it. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought he was removing it. Got it. Discussion. I did too. <laughs> oh, thinking really of the consent agenda, I guess. Anyway, so uh, the motion on the floor is approval of the September sixth um, joint finance um, community resource committee mi min minutes. Um, can I, uh, Laura, I guess roll call. Yeah, there's just no second on the motion. Oh, I would oh I'm sorry. Second. Second on it, right. Okay. Okay. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Maori. Yes. And Councillor Elkins. Yes. I'm missing those voice votes we can do in person. <laughs> okay, now on to uh, the other minutes. We have a motion. Yeah, I, sec I yeah, second. I right. second. I second Council LaBarge's uh, okay. motion on the two budget listening sessions. Okay. Um, and can I just say thank you to Laura for attaching the uh, the emailed comments that we got 
to those. I, I take I take you know those were in large part from people who weren't able to attend. So I think including those as part of what we heard is uh, is useful. Well, you're very welcome. So okay. roll call. Yes, thank you. Okay, Councilor Moulton. Yes. Councilor Mayori. Yes. Councilor Elkins. Yes. And Councilor Labarge. Yes. Okay. Um, now we're moving on. Let's see. We've got minutes taken care of. Um, we're the next item is setting the meeting schedule and format for 2024-2025. And I was just talking to, to Laura before the meeting about this. Um, it seems like there's some difficulty in scheduling. It's ideally, I think it's a, a good practice to schedule as, as far in advance um, for the public's sake. But uh, it seems like there's a lot of competing schedules. And also, um, Councillor um, Councilor Elkins might not know this, but we really, uh, we really, we only, we have only been meeting. The practice has been when something's referred to us, except for special um, projects like the budget, budget listing session. So often we don't use the meetings that we've set. So instead of spending a lot of time setting advanced meetings when we don't have a clear schedule, we thought we would just uh, set them for um, for the next month or so. The ones that we know we can that there's not big conflicts for in terms of uh, counselor schedules, if that's okay with everyone. That's fine. Yeah, that works That works for me. Okay. As, as long as, so we would do basically though a placeholder though, like if we have one, this is when we can expect it kind of thing. Exactly, I mean, that's good for the public. The issue is that it seems like from, from the, the legwork that Laura's done before the meeting that there's, um, um, I, I have some issues with Wednesdays but then, but um, but Councillor um, Labarge has issues with Tuesdays, so it's getting it's just um, so we we're just we thought we would set for maybe what did we get to a month and a half, Laura? That we felt like yes, we we looked at February twenty sixth, a fourth Monday for the next meeting, and the okay. Tuesday after the first March meeting, which would be first March City Council meeting, which would be March twelfth. Okay, but, those but were. But you're correct, Council Elkins, that if we if nothing is referred to us and we don't, you know, we'll we probably we just cancel them unless, you know, until then we get to budget. When we get to budget hearings, there's a couple of special meetings. But generally that's what we do. We're pretty efficient that way. So let's see. So can everyone check for February twenty sixth? And also I'm open to time. Now I'm just uh, yeah, February twenty sixth. Wait a minute. That that's uh that's the fourth Monday. Monday. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Councilor Lobard. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is January 29th, correct? Uh, no, February 26th. February 26th is what we were looking at for the next meeting because it would be, um, wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait. That's so 29th. But, but, yeah, Laura, what if something's referred to us on Thursday, though? We, don't, we can't wait. We need something. Yeah, that would be a, somewhat of a long yeah. time. Yeah, I kind of feel mm. like we need to get a meeting. Um. We need to get a meeting on the books in case something's referred to us on Thursday. It's not. It's not looking like there will be actually from from just informally, um, but even and then we have a meeting on the fifteenth. So I think we need something before that. Did you have the dates before that that work? We can set February twenty sixth, but I think we just either that or we're going to have to do an email. You know, we could do it by email. But it, ideally, I'd like to get something on the books between on the books. Oh my gosh! Can you talked a little louder. Oh, sure. Yes. Yeah, I was saying we can set a meeting for February 26th, but we have two council meetings in between. And I want to ideally have something on the calendar in case something is referred to us. Okay. I, I just want to clarify something. Apparently, I've been told that you cannot make the meetings on Wednesday like we used to for six to eight weeks, correct? Correct. Okay. Tuesdays, I don't have a problem. I would have a problem on the third on a Tuesday. You mean the first, I, the first would be okay, the 13th. Um, are, you, are you looking at February though? In yes. February? Okay. Because yes. the third is a Saturday. No, no, no. I'm looking at February on a Tuesday. Oh, the 6th. Okay, because you can't do Wednesdays anymore. So you're requesting to do Tuesdays, correct? 
Well, I'm open to other times. It doesn't have to be Tuesdays. Oh, please. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what are we looking at for February? Um, well, we could do Mondays or Tuesdays. The only thing I want to be mindful of is I didn't, I don't know if you checked um, for Councilor Elkins, if you checked the NESC meetings, because I, um, no, we're going to have to, um, Tuesdays too. So I don't want to overload you, Councilor Elkins. <laughs> yeah, I think those will probably stay on Tuesdays, but be moved later, I think. Oh, okay. I, right. I foresee that happening. Okay. Um, okay. But as long as it's not, th those are the first Tuesdays, right? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I just want to be mindful of it. Um, so we're not uh, double booking anyone. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe right. we could aim for like, s s um, s so I, I'd have to go back and look the calendar. Are we, it's, it's not likely that two, two meetings a month is, is likely, but I guess if things are referred, it could happen. Yeah. It's very unusual, but yes, I guess it could happen. I mean, um, I wonder if we could do a placeholder of, um, yeah, what? I'm looking for a placeholder just so we to minimize some email exchanges, I guess. Yeah. Cause I mean, I can mark it down. It's easier to cancel than it is to. to yeah. Add. I find it. I find it. If we can, if we can get, cause that's two, that would be two council meetings with nothing on, you know, nothing scheduled for us. Um, I do think it's unlikely that we'll have something referred, but you know, we don't know. I'm, uh, I'll see the agenda tomorrow. Um, so if we could get something um, either the week of, uh, especially maybe, yeah, let's see, the week of. Um, and is then NES the first or the second Tuesday, which is energy and sustainability. I um, Hang on a second. That's what, February 13th? Look at that. Are you looking at, Laura? I was just trying to figure out which date we didn't want to conflict with. If it was the, I wasn't sure if it was the sixth or the thirteenth. Yeah, because we didn't have one in January because of the change in terms and. Oh, okay. Need to. Um, hmm. So the next one is on the books for the thirteenth. So that I think in general is the. Oh. Um, but that one's scheduled for four. Um, okay. I think so going confused. forward, it's going to change. Um, Okay. I think going forward is so. My suggestion might be maybe maybe we pencil in a meeting for the 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 thirteenth would be okay with me. Um, except for I'd have to be. I mean, I'd be coming straight from Nesk to that, right. which for one day is fine. And who knows? Maybe there won't be a referral. And then maybe going forward, we could keep a placeholder of um. Um, would it make sense to do the like the first Tuesday of the month as a placeholder? Uh, that that works for me, but I believe uh, Councilor Barge might have. Uh, so that's what I you know if we could oh, make I'm a place fine with that. Oh, okay. Well, so it's but not the twentieth. It's the third Tuesday third. that I have a problem with. Okay, so that would be okay. so you have a problem with February twentieth, right? You have something on the twentieth as well. Yes. Okay. Um. But okay. sometimes the first Tuesday is before the council meeting. You know, sometimes the council right. meeting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the only time it wouldn't work to, for a referral um, on Got a regular it. basis. Just Got to, it. Well, do you want? Let's. Why don't we? If thank you for being amenable this one time, uh, Council Elkins, about the thirteenth. Why don't we get that on there? And most likely, we frankly, I don't. We may not meet, and um, so we can do that one. Uh, the next so, week is school vacation, just to heads up for parents. <laughs> When's the school vacation? Uh, I believe it's the, you know, 18th, February 18th through the 25th. Yeah, that's okay. right. So just to, just to put that out there. Okay, um, so maybe, um, know that. maybe we pencil in the 13th and then if, if either we have a meeting, we can discuss it at the meeting if we have one or if not, we'll. Uh, by email because the other thing that will happen is legislative matters s schedule will be set um tonight right. and um that has been mondays i think are going to be available for me um as well i just will want to alternate <laughs> you know I want, right. I wanna... well i actually thought of that too council elkins because you and i are both on that and uh right would... yeah but mondays are in general i just yeah we, it, that would that would be helpful you're right to set that and then you and i could 
know that we could make them on Mondays. Councilor Labarge and Councilor Moulton, do Mondays work for you? Well, it, aren't, we doing depending finance, on, aren't we doing finance on February 26th on a Monday? Yeah, yeah. Well, I that's the joint meeting though, right? Uh, yes or no? Well, we're talking, yeah, we're discussing it. <laughs> yeah, we haven't decided. That's why we're discussing okay, it. what about yeah. January? I'd like to get that clarified here. There's no today's the twenty ninth, yeah. correct? That's today. That's today. That's that's this what, meeting. What am I doing? <laughs> so it sounds had a crazy okay. weekend, Marianne. <laughs> yeah. So let's set let's set February thirteenth as our placeholder for Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, February thirteenth is our next. Is, is we're going to put on the schedule on the thirteenth. Right. Yeah. Okay. And before we go on, what what time is works for you all? Does this uh, we generally um, we What's we're what? meeting at six, but, but I you know I I have some flexibility. So if if anyone has a a preference, we've always had them at five, right? Uh, at six. That's, no, last yeah. last term we settled on six. Uh, Whatever. I, I okay. It's, it doesn't matter to me uh, late afternoon, for, uh, although I think Councilor Elkins, uh, you may prefer five to four. Is that? Yeah, I, I prefer to, to yeah, me too. keep it out of the workday. Um, yeah. that, that's when I run into five. My preference might be 530. Split the difference between five and six. I like um, it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That way, if I'm in court, I can I can almost always. Uh, Oh, we could always take your place in court for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to ask my clients how they feel about that. <laughs> so, so the next meeting for, as a placeholder we have is Tuesday, February thirteenth at five thirty. Okay. Okay. That's I, February that, what? Thirteen. Okay. Yes, Councilor Moulton. So, Councilor Barge. Are we correct that your only conflict is the third Tuesday of, of each month? I might have a conflict with a lot of days coming up. Oh, okay. So but, right now I'm settling it in. Okay. But generally, I mean. But you don't have a standing are, conflict. Are, you, you have a standing conflict on only the third Tuesday. No, that's fine. I don't have a conflict with that date, Stan. Okay. Okay. It would be the 20th, I would. Yes, okay. yes, okay. So I'm thinking, how would you feel about we have the 13th and then we and then we do check in after that? Because it sounds like it's not clear what the next date and now we have um, yeah. the school vacation. So if something is referred to us on the 15th, February 15th, we, we would have to come up with a date between that and, you know, the, and the next council meeting. I thought so, we already had something scheduled for February twenty sixth. So that's a no. Well, yeah. yeah. Does that work? I mean, does that work? Yeah. So we have it on well, the fifteenth. Yeah. The only thing we need to confirm is we were confirming legislative matters. It's okay. Um, oh, okay. So we can always let's just make placeholders. That's fine. Yeah, that's so fine. I'll I'll work, work around it. Yeah, we'll work around it. Yeah. As legislative yeah. matters is on the twelfth of February, correct? Um. Well, we don't know yet. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. I mean, if oh, we stick so, to the same schedule that we did last term, um, then yes. Um, but I, I that remains to be uh, seen. I will be, in, I mean, I, looking ahead, would be inclined to keep the same schedule um, yeah. because it's easy, but, but it's not decided yet. So, uh, okay, so okay. thank you. So it looks like we, oh, yeah, Councilor Moulton. Yeah, that, that's. I mean, setting placeholders for February 13th, February 26th works for me. In in general, however, I think that uh, we should avoid Mondays because uh, holidays. Well, mm -hmm. well, because that's when typically the other three committees are meeting. We don't know yet about legislative matters, but if that's the continued pattern, then when in the months where there is a holiday, as in February, the the third Monday of the month meeting might get moved to the fourth Monday. So if if Tuesdays are generally good for folks, um, I think we should aim for uh, looking at Tuesdays as a, our general 
uh, times that we would meet post uh, city council uh, referrals. I agree. I, I would agree with that. that. That's a great point because often if there's some, you know, often we sit in as counselors on other committees as well. Um, yes. When issues arise. So um, that's a good point. So, okay. So why don't we say these two placeholders and then, you know, obviously we can tweak it, but I do, I think it's, it's, you know, it, it behooves, behooves us to have a couple of placeholders now. So great. So February 13th at, 5.30 and February 26th at 5.30. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. All right. So, whew. okay. So we have no items referred to us. Uh, I don't have any new business. Well, then I wouldn't move to adjourn. Yeah. Second. Well, okay, we'll, we'll call. Uh, oh, okay. Councilor Mayori. Yes. Councilor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Elkins. Yes. And Councillor Labarge. Yes.